you know we have this option of growth fund and dividend uh, yeah. to choose when we what is the difference what kind of person should choose growth and what kind of person should uh, you know opt for dividend no things have changed you know there was there was a reason why somebody should have chosen a dividend plan or growth plan in the past okay. now they exist but nobody should choose a dividend plan okay. uh, for the reason that uh, you know ever since there was a uh, clamping of long term capital gains tax and correspondingly you know because when you invested in a balanced fund or an equity fund and held it for one year all the returns in your hand were tax free also all the dividends were tax free mm-hmm. now dividends are subject to 10% dividend distribution tax so it doesn't make sense to invest in the dividend plans anymore mm-hmm. in fact if you have your older because you will get the dividend mm-hmm. but the dividend will be reduced by 10% mm-hmm. so if a fund is giving you a 10 rupee dividend then you will actually get only 9 rupee and uh, the better form to derive the return from a mutual fund will be in the form of a withdrawal of right. a periodic kind of a predictable kind and there it's also good in on other front you are able to choose the time and quantum of uh, you know you are able to choose that your own uh, you know when you want to get the money and the quantum rather than dividend which is which was dependent on somebody the you know fund company's decision to pay at the, you know time of their choosing right.